<laughs> Hello my friends, it's Ferris Jacqueline. Hello my friends, it's Ferris, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to get diamonds in Horse Haven. But also, we're going to check out the amazing Kentucky Derby items. So I'm definitely gonna do another video about the Kentucky Derby, but we're gonna do like a part two of three right now, and we're going to buy the majority of the items. So there is a beautiful Derby horse, and goodness gracious, it's 6,000, so I don't know if we'll get it, but that would be really cool. I already have the Rosy Saddle, which you guys checked out in my first episode but oh and I already have the horse balloon which is so adorable <laughs> so there are just a few items I feel like I remember last year that we had an event like this and there were way more items so I'm not sure if they're gonna add more there's also something happening and I think like a month so we'll see but I'm just gonna go ahead and buy a few of these. So, I just love those rosy boots, but there's like definitely a rose theme going on with this because it is the Kentucky Derby and I'm just seeing roses everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, here's my two items I already have. I already had the clock and I already had the horse balloon. I was hoping the horse balloon would like sway and move and then be on like a little string that was attached to the ground, but it's not. But that would have been really cool. So suggestion right there for you, Horse Haven. <laughs> I love the boots. I, I don't know, I thought they would be like shorter, but I really like the way they look. They look great. And then here's the rose cake hat. Uh, the rose hat cake, super cool. And then I have the scoreboard. So those are all uh, five of the items that I have. So we're missing a bridle and we're missing the two horses. So we'll try to get those in the last episode for this Kentucky Derby. Okay, on to how to get diamonds in this game. So diamonds are the uh, currency in this game that you sort of have to pay for. So you can get this through questing. Oh, you can get it through mail too sometimes, but you can get it through questing. You can get it through uh, j just the daily quest. You can get it through watching a daily video and you can watch uh, videos from cars that drive by that have the little diamond that says, hey, you can you can uh, do watch another little video or you can do the little quizzes. But there's even more ways to get diamonds. So so my biggest tip for you guys would be to get on Instagram and Twitter and follow Horse Haven. I actually won a hundred diamonds the other day because they put a quiz out about a horse that won a previous Kentucky Derby. And that question was Googleable. <laughs> Googleable. I don't know, you could Google it. Like it, they, the questions aren't that hard. So, and also sometimes they just ask for your opinion on things and they'll give you diamonds and then they DM you instructions and it's super simple. And I feel like that is the easiest way to get a lot of diamonds. So follow, follow them and uh, just if they have a little like poll or question and they say, hey, we're gonna give you diamonds if you answer this, answer it as soon as you possibly can, you guys. <laughs> And the other way to get a bunch of diamonds is to buy the Constellation horses. And those horses from the start when they are a level one are worth diamonds when you sell them. So definitely check out the Constellation horses. They do cost, but when you have them and you breed them up and you get the tier threes and when they get the level 10, sell them and you can grind and get diamonds that way. So right now I have the Halloween horses and I have them at tier three and I'm grinding them up and I'm breeding. I have two, I have a boy and a girl and they're, I'm breeding them and I'm, I'm uh, selling the baby once it reaches level 10. It's clearly not a baby at that point, but it will be worth some diamonds. And the constellation horses are just worth a little bit more when it comes to this. So like I said, the constellation horses are worth diamonds the day they are created. <laughs> but don't sell your constellation horse that, that you bought. You need to breed your constellation horse with another constellation horse. That So that brings me to having friends on Star Stable. You should have a ton of Facebook friends that play Horse Haven. So my recommendation, make a new Facebook account and have it only for Horse Haven and add people from the Facebook group. So one of my lovely sponsors Alina told me to do this and it helped significantly. So have your Horse Haven account, have your profile picture Horse Haven. Don't talk to people, don't talk to strangers, but just add people from the Facebook like page that you see commenting that also have pictures of just Horse Haven horses. 
I want to give a big shout out to our special group of sponsors. So I do have YouTube sponsor. If you would like to sponsor me, definitely check out the link in the description. When you do sponsor and hook your Discord up to your YouTube account, you will be automatically put into our private Discord server where we sponsors talk and we talk a lot about Force Haven and trying to work together. So if you would like to be a part of that special awesome group, then definitely check out sponsor. It's only a few dollars a month. It's like the price of a coffee and it helps support my channel and it helps support me making more awesome videos. So thanks guys. All right, my lovely friends, thank you so much for watching. Good luck getting diamonds in Horse Haven and awesome horses, and I'll see you with the next video. Goodbye, my friends.